Late Night Health continues with our good friend, Hans Kugler. I have known Dr. Kugler since 1977, 78? Long time ago. Long time ago. We, we, we were both, well, you're still good looking. Um, anyway, we're going to do some interesting things talking about the Quiet Mind Foundation. Would you like to introduce our first guest? Okay. Our first guest is Michael Wider. And we will, he will define what we are talking about today in this specific area of this is very new medical research. I mean, we don't have any, res, any actual applications yet, but this is something that is so hot everybody should know about it. Got right? you. Uh, and, and, um, Mike, welcome to Late Night Health. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to be here. Let me, let me maybe give you a little bit of summary at first, right? When we talk about anti-aging or optimum health, which is also synonymous with best immune functions, right? Best sexuality. Oh, now suddenly Mark is raising his head there, right? I uh, am really interested in best, that. Best recovery from disease and all these things. We define lifelong health or optimum health as a state of homeostasis is achieved by doing all those health practices correctly. Now, most recently with telomere research, those are those extensions at the end of your DNA molecules. We connected health practices with true anti-aging. And with this, instead of referring to health practices, we now refer to anti-aging modalities, right? And I want you to know, uh, you take a pencil, write, write something down here. The very first one is worldhealth.net which is the website of the American Academy Anti-Aging Medicine. And while you're there, you are looking for immortalitynow.net. Immortalitynow, one word, dot net. Once you have the essential modalities correct about achieving best possible anti-aging, then you go to immortality now. And there are many different experts. I mean, the, the top of the top researchers that are being interviewed by Dr. Ron Klotz with A4M, and that will show you how you possibly should make any adjustments depending on your genetic background, on, on what these experts are saying for your anti-aging approach, right? Now, and in this whole picture, naturally, we are trying to do something about some of the diseases that the pharmaceutical industry is basically doing nothing about. And that right? would be Alzheimer's? Is Alzheimer's, one. Parkinson's, a lot of other things, right? All right. Like we heard, for example, a few years ago, um, you know, with Down syndrome and, and autism, well, in Germany, Heidelberg University, they developed some methods there. It's very important, very effective. Um, with Down syndrome, MIT recently came out with a uh, projection, a pub scientific publication, basically saying that within the next 25 years, half of all children that will be born will be diagnosed with autism. So we better do something about that. All right, let's turn to uh, Mike uh, uh, Witterman. Mike, tell us your involvement and interest in the work of the Quiet Mind Foundation. And how does it work? And how does it work? Okay, great. Well, I've been in the medical device business for almost 20 years. I got involved with the original inventor of the pacemaker who made Medtronic into the success it is. His name was Wilson Great Batch. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, but fortunately at 92. And the pacemaker changed medicine on many dimensions and made devices a big part of the medical uh, portfolio in hospitals and clinics. Wilson and I did a number of exciting cardiovascular improvements, including making the pacemaker that Medtronic now sells, the only one compatible with uh, MRI machines, and that took us many years to, to resolve. And we did a few other things with Boston Scientific. And I was working on advances very exciting advances in the pacemakers and this type of thing until two years ago when I met Marvin Berman, who will be on soon, the president and founder of the Quiet Mind Foundation, and he told me something that I had originally heard about in Europe the year before, which is a startling and a wonderful potential answer to the pandemic of Alzheimer's and dementia. And dementia, as you know, is is about 60 million people worldwide, and about 60% of them have Alzheimer's, but you can also get dementia from a concussion 
for an extended time under general anesthesia, which is not that well known, and it's a four to eight times greater potential to get early stage dementia. And the drugs, although there are a few, you know, a lot of press releases about success in mice, nothing's working very well on the bio pharmaceutical front, and it turns out we think we know why. Because the thing that Berman discovered first, he's been working with neurofeedback, which is a tremendous innovation in neuroscience, which can help retrain a brain when various problems occur, including uh, dementia. But he then heard about a physician in England who was working with Infrared light, which the technical terms is a few of them, it's often called LLLT for low level light therapy. And you can look that up on the web and see some fantastic studies, patents, and devices, unfortunately, mostly used only by dentists to repair tissue and sports medicine doctors. The rest of medicine hasn't uh, adopted it yet. And, My that talk would, is and, that, and that would be for the, the, the new use of that technology, would be for the brain. Right. Okay. Yeah. And Michael, well, particularly this- the combination of these two therapies will re- will stop. The, it's three a three uh, three step process that's essential. Number one, first and foremost, you must stop the degeneration where the tissues are beginning to die because they appear to be the upstream cause of the amyloid plaque. If the tissues don't die, the plaque doesn't come. Okay, so Michael, let me interrupt. Plaque, Michael, hold Michael, on a right. second. Dr. Me, uh, Kugler has a question right, for right. you. Because we have limited time, we've got to really sort of cut things down a little bit and chew it. Now, before we continue, uh, do you have any websites that are very important that people should know in order to learn more about that, like your website or anybody? Yeah, yes, definitely. The first one is the Quiet Mind Foundation, and that website is the two words, Quiet Mind together, and then uh, foundation, uh, abbreviation, F-D-N, so it's quietmindfdn.org, and that is Dr. Berman's website, he'll be on in a moment, and can, there's a lot of information, and in his research is there. Then uh, the website for, the, for my company is New Thera, spelled funny, spelled N-O-O-T-H-E-R-A, dot com. And there, there's a, a, a non-scientific explanation with some scientific pointers, and a person can get the thing. But if I can just explain, so we don't con- cause any confusion, the three steps are essential together. Number one, you stop degeneration. Fortunately, that can be done non-invasively with several different signals. Uh, Dr. Berman uses photobiomodulation or LLLT. The second thing, and this is a major, major achievement that's well studied in the sciences and not used in the clinics very much, you can restart the growth of neurons and get an immediate increase in the nerve pads, dendrites, and synapses. This is very healthy for the faltering brain, and if you get it early enough, it appears you can stop and stabilize Alzheimer's and not have the person go through the tragedy that 60 million okay, people Okay, let's are get to number three. From. Yes. Number three is the neurofeedback, where they use this non-invasive technology to retrain your brain waves and make your cognition come back. It's actually quicker and more impressive than the uh, use of the infrared. The problem is that only the infrared stops your brain from dying. The other one makes you smarter while you die. So the three together are essential to solve the problem. Now, you get immediate reactions of uh, agony from neuro uh, uh, from neuroscientists and pharmacologists who haven't studied the science. Before they study the science, some of them automatically go into a negative and attack mode. Well, we've that's got the scientific and that's, evidence. So rather than argue, I would like the public to encourage the scientists and their physicians to open their minds and let's enter the 21st century. Medicine and science is a little bit stuck in the 20th. Michael, we're going to go now to uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Berman. Mr. Berman. Right. And you stay, Dr. You, Berman, yeah, PhD. Right, and, and do you mm-hmm. stay, you, we're, we're going to disconnect, you stay there. In case he doesn't answer, we will call you right back. Well, okay. Can okay. I listen? Can you put me on mute? And I no. can't we, right now. I, if I had right, known, I would. I'll be standing by. All right. He'll Thank you good. very much, Mike. I appreciate My it. My pleasure. Okay. All right. Okay. We turn now to Dr. Marvin Berman from the 
Quiet Mind Foundation. By the way, that's Quiet Mind fdn.org if you like information on it. Dr. Berman, welcome to Late Night Health with Mark Allen, that's me, and Dr. Hans Kugler. Uh, well, t- I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Uh, tell, tell us briefly, if you can, about the current technology that is being used to, uh, to fight Parkinson's, uh, Alzheimer's, and other diseases, and how your your technology varies, is different. Well, I think if we start with the basic premise that when you look at the development of any neurodegenerative condition like Alzheimer's or dementia or Parkinson's or ALS, the two most prominent features are a loss of blood flow and an increase in inflammation in the brain and in the body, but particularly in the brain. The current approaches to treatment have been looking for the drugs that will interrupt the development of the specific symptoms, but there hasn't been a specific focus on the underlying mechanism, the underlying causal mechanism in these disorders. And when we looked, when we started to look at the underlying mechanisms, that's when we saw that the two most prominent features were this loss of blood flow, especially from the outer reaches of the cortex, and the increase in inflammation. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Kugler, did you have something you wanted to in- interject? Well, here? yeah, sort of like let's keep this information a little bit more down on the uh, general We want uh, it level. so that it's people like me can understand it, uh, Dr. Mm-hmm. Berman. Mm-hmm. It, sure. It, the, the surgeries that are going on or potential surgeries, the drugs, they don't work. We know right. that, right? How does your preliminary studies Different. work? How do they work. differ? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we we certainly don't involve, we, we're not involved in doing anything that's invasive. So nothing we do is involved with breaking the skin or anything like, or putting anything into body, except we use infrared light of a specific frequency range, and we use biofeedback training, which is essentially giving people information about how their brain is working and then rewarding them and helping them to learn ways to change the way their brain is functioning to have it work more normally. That is an amazing thing that you said right there. Hans, you were right. It is true along the lines of our anti-aging and uh, uh, telomere aging. It's it's absolutely magnificent the right direction to go. We're going to come back in just a few moments, Dr. Berman. We'll continue our conversation. This is Late Night Health. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. We'll have a whole bunch of uh, information for you on the WorldHealth.net and uh, all kinds of things on this uh, topic for you. Uh, Dr. Hans will be back. Uh, Dr. Daryl will be back. Dr. Kevin will be back. I'll be back. Don't go away. More coming up on Late Night Health. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-789-7213 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 800-789-7213 to take your call now. Call 800-789-7213. That's 800-789-7213. Again, 800-789-7213. 
Have you ever needed a flashlight and reached into a drawer to find your flashlight is dead and then go to put in new batteries only to find the insides are all corroded? Now Hybrid Light has created a solar-powered flashlight that requires no batteries and also charges your cell phone. Hybrid lights are durable, waterproof, and hold a charge in the dark for up to seven years and perfect for any emergency or everyday use. Now you can get your own Hybrid Light today for only $34.95 and if you mention health, you'll receive a hybrid light headlamp absolutely free. That's our durable hybrid light with a free headlamp for only $34.95, a value of $60, only $34.95. Call us today at 800-297-8109. That's 800-297-8109 to get this special hybrid light offer today. 800-297-8109, 800-297-8109. In the promo code box, type in HELP. 800-297-8109.